I was here until that house started burning right across the street. And um, then I knew it was going to come across and get my fence. <clears throat> so I packed up my cats that I have in the house, put them in a carrier, and I took them up to my sister-in-law's house. And I could see, I had a shed in the back, a metal shed, and I could see something burning. And I thought, oh God, it's my house. I want to I wanna cry when I see all my neighbors gone, everybody that we grew up with. It's a horrible feeling to know that there's no... There's no one left, and I don't know where where it's going to begin or where it's going to end, how we're ever going to get back to any kind of normalcy. The, the, the most eerie part is not hearing cars going by or people talking at night, especially it's so lonely and sad. It's so hard to wake up to this and just to think of what it was. and. It's really hard. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.